Say hi, friends. The more I've considered the topic of digital media and surveillance, the more sure I've become that myself and the majority of the people that I know are genuine super sleuths. The amazing thing is that this is now the norm. I mean, if I have access to someone's social media, I have access to a wealth of information about that person, and not just that person, but their family, their friends, their pets, where they went to school, what they were doing on the weekend, what their favourite food is, what their favourite drink is. I mean, let's use my Instagram for example. I'm on private, so if you're not following me, you can't see much, but what you can see is my bio, which currently has a link to a fringe show that I'm working on. If you click that link, you're taken to the fringe show page, which is not on private. From there, you'd be able to see a link to tickets, a link to radio interviews that I've done for the show, to uh, promotional images, and you'd suddenly have all this information about me, where I'm going to be at specific times, or what I'm doing, who I'm with. If you are following me, and I don't accept people I don't know generally, but on the odd occasion I do, and in that case you'd be able to see that I love avocados and dark chocolate. I've recently taught my puppy, so high five. Yeah, high five. High five. Yeah. Good girl. Where you go? Type my full name into LinkedIn, and you'll be able to see where I work, where I studied, what I've studied who my colleagues are. I mean, my online profile is somewhat restricted, but an observer would still be able to see and put together a relatively full picture of who I am and what I do, where I am at specific times of the day, who I'm with. And I do the exact same thing to other people. I mean, I'm definitely not the only person in existence who stalked exes, friends, someone's aunt's cousin. Sure. By looking at my online identity, these are all things that people could quite easily learn about me. But these are also things that I've very deliberately put online. I mean, these are the things that I don't mind people knowing about me. I suppose we're putting ourselves out there to be observed. But it's a curated identity. I mean, there's a reason Instagram is filtered. The more I think about the idea of digital media and surveillance and the two concepts as a whole connected, the more I start to think that we're stuck in this voyeuristic culture, this societal fascination with knowing anything and everything about each other. I mean, we're addicted to information, to knowledge, to I mean, I suppose you could also call it gossip. I mean, sometimes it feels like we're living in an episode of Black Mirror. I mean, who knows? Maybe we are.